in, um, confused on. The first thing, this is what is new. All right, we have our angle, and these are what we're going to call like our multiple angles. All right, or our half angles. This angle is being divided by four. Forget about it. Don't worry about it until the end. We'll talk about how that's going to do that. Before we get to that point, we need to at least be able to isolate our sine function. So to do that, I'll subtract the square root of 3. So I have 2 sine of x divided by 4 equals negative square root of 3. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Sine of x divided by 4 equals negative square root of 3 over 2. Now again, what I'm telling you is to find all of the solutions. All right. So again, we have not touched this x divided by 4. Don't do anything with it until you are told so. So just hold on. So let's find our unit circle where it does the sine function equal negative square root of 3. Well, let's just figure out when it equals positive square root of 3, which we know now is going to be at this point. No, that's wrong. We know it's going to be at this point. Right? Would everybody agree with me on that? That's the point. And that means this angle is pi over 3. But if I was going to continue this unit circle, we're not looking for when it's positive. We're looking for when it's negative. So that means I'm going to want to take this point and bring it to its negative version. So that means it has to be in the y coordinate. So if this is pi over 3, that's 2 pi over 3. 3 pi over 3, that means my next angle is 4 pi over 3. And 5 pi over 3. OK? So this is when the angle is positive. These two points are when the angle is negative. This point would be negative 1 half, negative square root of 3 over 2. This point would be positive 1 half, negative square root of 3 over 2. So therefore, I can now say x divided by 4 equals 4 pi over 3. And x divided by 4 equals 5 pi over 3. All right? But remember, for this problem, I'm saying find all of the solutions. So we need to look at this. And I say, if here's my angle, if I, if I add another pi thirds, that takes me to this solution. But if I add another pi thirds, I don't have another solution. So I can't just say add pi thirds, but I'm going to have to add 2 pi to get to the next solution. And you're going to have to do that with both of them. So I'll add 2 pi n plus 2 pi n. Now we can finally go ahead and apply this 4. So all I'm going to simply do with this is now multiply the 4 on both sides. So therefore, I have x equals 16 pi over 3 plus 8 pi n. And here, I have um, 20 pi over 3 plus 8 pi n. Okay. So we're going to treat these problems exactly the same, except we're going to then apply our either multiple angle or half angle or whatever we have as an angle, then apply that to your solution. Okay? Yes? Do you see that point right there? At the angle 4 pi over 3, my angle is negative 1 half, negative square root of 3 over 2. Now, sine is equal to negative square root of 3 over 2, only at 4 pi over 3. At 5 pi over 3, it's positive 1 half, negative square root of 3 over 2. Do you see the difference? It's knowing the unit circle. It's all about on the unit circle. At 4 pi over 3, y, y is negative square root of 3. At 5 pi over 3, y is negative square root of 3. So it's only at these two angles that your y coordinate is negative square root of 3 over 2. Okay. And then you just go and apply the problem. Now, I do have one more example. Caroline, just almost there. Almost.